ladies and gentlemen, here's Johnny. I get you all found you found the chocolate covered hearts we left on your seats. Yeah. Thank you. You sound real good tonight. Uh, I will apologize for the sneaky way we got you in here tonight, but it, it helped to hang that sound sign outside that said gasoline fifty cents a gallon. <laughs> Look, I want you to be kind to me during this monologue tonight. One massacre on this date was enough. Uh, those of you old enough remember. People get very gift conscious on days like this, and I want to thank the lady from the audience who left the long-stemmed American Beauty in my dressing room. Here. <laughs> Although your daughter seems like a nice girl, I can't get her on the show. <laughs> you were ahead of me, weren't you? <laughs> By the way, if you're out here as tourists, especially today, and you... Come on, Tom. Welcome. And if you're up on Hollywood Boulevard and you see a man walking along dressed as Cupid, that does not mean it's Valentine's Day. That, that means it's Murray. He dresses that way every single day. <laughs> well, maybe he doesn't. Love is in the air today. Valentine's Day. But remember, before you fall head over heels on love for someone you just met, remember the initials of Valentine's Day. <laughs> I always wax nostalgic on Valentine's Day, and I, uh, which I do occasionally, I wax uh, several days, but especially on Valentine's Day. I, I think of my youth back on the plains of Nebraska and my very first girlfriend. She was an Italian girl, Gina Statutory. <laughs> I'll never forget the very first time I saw Gina in school. She was starring in a hygiene film called Don't Let This Happen to You. She was a lovely girl. The uh, farmer that lives at... Do you, do you still send Valentine's Day cards? Is that still the thing to do? Sure. Yeah. Remember the ones you made as kids with a little lace around them? Big red hearts? Farmer that lives next door to Billy Carter sent Billy a Valentine's Day card. It says, roses are red, violets are blue, and they're watered daily thanks to you. <laughs> uh, you know, I mentioned that day. Today is the 50th anniversary of the St. Valentine's Day Massacre. Remember that in Chicago? He remembers that, a remembrance of that date. NBC lined all of the members of its programming department up against a wall today and machine gunned them. <laughs> it's kind of an in-house joke, and I think we should probably keep that in the house. <laughs> California Governor Jerry Brown sent his girlfriend Linda Ronstadt a little Valentine's Day poem. Is there, there's a fly buzzing around. <laughs> This is monologue is starting to spoil. It's turning bad right here. What did I start to say? What was I talking about? Jerry Brown sent Linda Ronstadt, the same kind of says, roses are red, violets are blue. I love you, pretty lady, but I'm more in love with 1980. Which wasn't as funny as the guy sent Billy Carter. Well, I know you're all anxious to find out what's the latest in the Lee Marvin, Michelle Triola trial. For those of you who missed the papers today, I want to keep you up to date on these important events. Uh, apparently today, Michelle Triola's trial would not allow Michelle's lawyer to sue. She, he wanted to sue for an additional $1 million. Now, Mrs. Triola's lawyer, who's a fellow by the name of Marvin Mitchelson, claimed that when Lee Marvin said, I love you, and then said he didn't mean it, that is fraud. 
Look, everybody knows when a man says, I love you, it is not fraud. It's temporary insanity. <laughs> Now that we have the important news out of the way, we can go to Iran and see what's happening over there. They, they just opened their first soft drink factory over there since the new government took over. It's called the uh, Ayatollah Cola. <laughs> and it's, uh, it gives gas to everyone but Americans. <laughs> it's a new drink, yeah. Uh, president is off to Mexico, as you know. And uh, he's already there. As a matter of fact, uh, President uh, Portillo of Mexico took President Carter on kind of a sightseeing trip. And Mexican president showed Jimmy Carter the home of the former bandit Pancho Villa. And Carter was so impressed, he said, when Portillo comes here, he's going to show him the home of Bert Lance. <laughs> Carter just doesn't say things funny. Did you ever notice that? You realize, of course, while the president is out of the country, the acting president is Walter Mondale. Yes. What? <laughs> Ooh. Now, here are some of the important things that Walter has accomplished since Carter went to Mexico. He, uh, he oiled the swivel chair in the uh, Oval Office so he could s swivel without squeaking. He uh, called the Maytag repairman and said, what do you do to kill a day? <laughs> And he called uh, Brezhnev, Brzezinski, and told him to keep his hands off a of Rodeo Drive. <laughs> Between Carter and Mondale, it's been a political wipeout tonight. <laughs> Moving along to the sports news. See, I jump from one subject to another. It doesn't, if one thing doesn't work, we keep plunging ahead. Former Ohio State football coach Woody Hayes is in town, and he is here to discuss the possibility of a movie based on his life. I understand this afternoon Woody was up at Grauman's Chinese Theater where they pressed his fist in cement. <laughs> uh, but, uh, I but I understand he's like any other tourist. He stopped along Sunset Boulevard, you know, one of those guys on the street, and bought a map of the star's throats. <laughs> no, he didn't. Who cares? Here's the strange news item of the day. Uh, women have found, according to news item in the Los Angeles Times, women have found that birth control pills in the soil will stimulate the growth of their houseplants. That's, don't ask me why, but it also uh, enables your petunias to pollinate without fear of morning sickness. So it's just a side effect. We have a... Um, a pretty good show tonight, don't we? Yes. What? Yes. Yes, we do. Well, be enthusiastic. <laughs> Charlton. Show, John. What? It's a fine show. It's a fine show. Yeah, Not just a good show, it's a fine show. Charlton Heston is here tonight. <laughs> Korean comic Johnny Yoon, Blair Brown, and Jack Douglas. <laughs> we'll be right back. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> 